I intend for this video to be short. Many of you may be laughing. I'm out here right now with Tim and with Sam. <laughs> well, Sam's butt anyway. Sam. I guess they can be considered to be stand-ins. Tim will be our Bothan and Sam can be our Wookie. John Drury posted a question about how do I learn how to play Star Wars quickly and easily? And uh, I do have a fairly short answer to that, and it'll sound snide right off the bat, and it's, well, read the book. But what do I mean by that? Fantasy Flight Games organized everything into chapters, very specific chapters. So, when you open up the book, pretty much the first thing that you'll encounter is a description about playing the game, and in there they list out the different types of roles that will be required. Just recognize what they are, you know, the simple role, the standard role, the opposed role, this sort of thing. How do they work? What kind of roles will you as the Game Master be expected to ask for? You won't, at the end of that section, understand the different ways and permutations of all those roles for this game, but you'll know basically what kind of mechanical thing you'll be asked to do. Second thing, move into character creation. Make a character. Make two characters, or three characters. This will very quickly, and I do mean quickly, it's, it's a little bit of, of uh, point by. This will click, quickly give you a sense of what a character is expected to know or do, and well, you know, what a character mechanically in Fantasy Flight Game Star Wars is. Well, then that process will have entailed you looking at what the skills are, and what the talents are. It may have exposed you to reading about the Force, but that's really not necessary and would be making more work for yourself than you need right off the bat. So at this point you have a couple of completed characters, you have a sense of how the skills are defined very broadly, and what talents are in relationship to skills or, or, or a career, and what some of them mean. A player would be ready to go at this point, but you need a little bit more information, and that's where the Game Master's chapter comes in, and that deals with all the things that you, as the Game Master, will have to do that the players don't necessarily do. This is where experience points are. This is where the interpretation of the dice is explained with very detailed pictures, with very detailed examples showing different ways to interpret the same role, and... Well, now you're pretty much, pretty much ready to go. There's the gear chapter, there's the ships chapter, but this is all setting stuff, and it's stuff that if you're a Star Wars fan, you're already really familiar with. You just need to know the numbers for. And then there's the adversary section, which likewise, it's how is like a stormtrooper expressed in the mechanics of the game, and and look at the minions rules in the adversaries chapter, minions, rivals, and the nemesis. Figure out what the difference is, how the system approaches the you know, kind of cannon fodder character, how the system handles a threat for player characters, and how the, the system handles the concept of the larger kind of recurring threat. And these are already statted out for your starter characters. These characters will also expand with yours through experience. So this is their beginning level for the beginning of your campaign. Now, if you're an experienced Game Master, you are really good to go. At the end of the first session, you'll feel much better about the system, and your players will already be familiar with how the dice work. They may need a little reminder for your second session, but after that, it never needs to be talked about again. Now, there are things like item qualities, and there are things like critical hits, and there's how astrogation works, and there's space combat, but all of these things are... Let's say add-ons. They all work through the basics pre prevent, uh, presented at the very beginning of the book. The, what kind of dice rolls are called for and how do you make a pool of dice. So that's my you know, hopefully short take on how do I start running Fantasy Flight Games, Star Wars, role-playing. Hope it was helpful. If it wasn't, leave some comments and let's start a discussion.